and welcome to episode 7 of Greenwich Valley. Hello everybody, good morning. Alright, it is currently 6.29 in the morning and we've got some work to do. So, now, since you last left me, not a lot really changed. All I did was go to sleep as a character. So, or should I say, as the, well, the farmer. There wasn't really that much to do. There was a couple of contracts that have appeared, um, one of which I have accepted. Um, and it is a fertilizer contract on field 17. Now, field 17 is literally just across the yard. Now, it's not exactly a very big one, uh, just here. And I've done contracts on there before. Um, that you have seen me do. That is one of the fields that I plan to take over at some point, um, depending. Now, it's got potatoes in it. So, I don't know how far across that is. I highly doubt it's very far. Um, so, I'm going to put the narrows on the Zeta to do this job. Now, I don't, I don't think there's any issue um, in terms of the crop destruction on a contract field but I, just, I still don't want to risk it plus I'm going to be driving across the field that I've just planted on the last episode um, I don't really want to damage that it's brand new well it's not even fully there yet I mean, I'll show you that field in a moment just ahead uh, but it has basically gone into a growth stage, growth stage two, I should imagine, at the moment. Gonna give this clean up, as what some people like to say that a dirty tractor it will it will make you ill. No, no, it's a working tractor, you know. But you know, that that's quote and another YouTuber, by the way, um, or should I say, a YouTuber's daughter, you know, bless her. <laughs> But anyway, let's get to work. Now, now I'm going to address a couple of little things, um, which I'm going to mention from off while I'm doing this. Now, I do have plans to change the channel a little bit. Um, not in terms of a complete shutdown change, I'm just talking about my let's plays um there has been a bit of an issue that i have uh, mentioned beforehand um on the last episode and i never went into full about it and this is regarding chapelfield um now i'll be straight down the middle i'm going to tell you what's happened now i loaded an extra mod into chapelfield um well chellington valley obviously but Chapelfield is the game video that I was doing. Um, look here, look, I'll just quickly show you this. Now look, that's growing quite, that's quite nice already. Now this is part of the master plan, and I'll show you what the master plan is in due time when I can get enough money up to do so. I'm not sure how long that's going to take. I'm just going to do contracts until I can do that. Or probably at once this has bloomed and is ready to harvest which is soybeans so that should give me quite a bit of money anyway um so back to what i was saying uh i do this all the time just go for the beaten track now yeah i loaded an extra couple of mods into chapel field um well challenge on whichever and these were global company ones i'm not going to say which ones they were um simply because I don't want to offend anybody um, from the global company because some of the global company stuff is good I mean, I've got to be honest with you there is, they are pretty glitchy on quite a few things now these two that I put in I don't know which one it was basically corrupted uh, the Chellington Safo and it also destroyed destroyed the backup for some reason I don't know how that happened um, so I could not do much about it, and I'm the amount of I'm, I'm perfectly honest with you. It's not me bleating; it's just being telling you about the facts. The amount of work that was put into building Chillington to the way it was before I started even 
releasing the episodes, or should I say recording the episodes. Um, it took me about three solid days. Well, I say that, I mean, this is just to let you know on my the way I go about things in my life. I go home from work full time, sort out the kids, put them to bed, and then I get about three to four hours worth of gameplay if I can, and then I've got to go back to bed and get up ready for the next day. Obviously, that includes editing as well. So, when I say three days worth, that's about nine hours worth. Okay, uh, give or take, you know, an extra hour or so here and there. So, and that was just to get it ready. I basically lost all of that. Yes, I could rebuild. Um, but being perfectly honest with you, there is a few things that I do wish to do before FS22 comes along. I'm not saying Challenge, uh, Chapelfield is not coming back. Um, I'm saying I need to rebuild it, which will take time, which I don't don't exactly have but uh, plan is in the motion for something else anyway and if something else was coming out, uh, coming around the corner and I was going to be building it around having a, a chapel field on Jones and working alongside them and I've already got obviously any cello you're watching it um, and this series is always been about well, just playing for me but also to do a bit of mopping up so I do things that I haven't really done much of or not or not done for a while and just playing just, just basic playing um, but there is a few things which thinking on it would not be great I do it but wouldn't be very realistic in terms of doing it on a British map no I'm referring to of course cotton um, and a few other things as well and there was a good map out there which I've been dying to properly try I've had a go on it I've had a drive around and it's an amazing map um, absolutely amazing and I've decided and this was in the plan anyway is to bring a part two series so to speak of mopping up when I say part two series, I'm talking about this series and another series run alongside each other. Um, same format, same format. So no storyline to it. I'm just playing it for the sake of way I would way I would like to play, and hope you all enjoy it at the same time. And I will tell you, it's an American map, um, so I would be able. In realistic format to bring you cotton if I wanted to do so. And I'm going to do cotton because I haven't done that for a long time. Um, and I've got a really good cotton harvester, not the usual one, um, which is sitting waiting in the wings for me to use. So I'm bringing that to you. And this map as well, I'm not going to say too much about it, but it gives you so much extra scope on stuff that you can do with it. Um, <clears throat> It's, a, it's just shocking. So I'm going to fully go for that. I'm going to get that one. And we're going to play on that one. On top of that, <coughs> I'm also planning on bringing out another Let's Play as well. So that's this one. The other one itself is more um, narrative based. But it's also going to be a bit of a challenge base as well at the same time. So basically, two new Let's Plays coming out soon. Um, one is, I'm not going to say replacement for Chapel Field on Challenton, because like I said, I'm not saying it's not going to come back. It may just come back, but I just need to work out what direction to take it in. Um, because obviously the global company, which is what it was supposed to be about, uh, part of it was has done quite a bit of damage and I don't really want it to do many more damage than it already has. So I need to work out what ones went wrong um, and just potentially rebuild when I can get a chance to rebuild. But I will be rebuilding. I'm not going to just stop. Um, you know, oh, contract finished. Just going to finish the strip. I mean, 
that will do my OCD in suffered rotten if I don't. There we go, job done. Oh, right, so field 17. Ooh! Harvesting contracts. There's quite a few of them as well. Let's collect that. Oh, field 4. Field 4 is just over yonder. I'm going to accept that. Oh, field 12. Yes. Ooh. Noah. Oh, that one there's sunflower. I'll accept that, but I'll... That's that big field, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah. Field 115. Right. I'm going to borrow the items for that. I know I've got my own harvester. But I'm going to get that one going at the same time. I think I'm going to do... Yeah, Phil falls there. Um, Phil 12, 38, and 109. I'm going to accept it. I'll accept 12, 38, and 109. And potentially I can get the straw from them as well. <laughs> this is going to be pretty fun, pretty lucrative, I think. Right, let's get to that harvester and let's get the job started. Because I think this is going to take some time. So I think, I'm going to be perfectly frank with you, I reckon I'm going to be giving you a bit of a montage, to be perfectly frank. And don't be surprised if there's more than one song on it, because this is going to take a while. <laughs> Obviously, if I was to just play it, I could do it as a time lapse, but I think it's going to take longer. There's a little time lapse, there's a certain thing about time lapses. Very good, you could speed them up to about eight times eight to go any further than that, and it looks a mess. Um, but even that has its limits. I love bouncing around in the track, just seriously, I just I love it. I'm not actually being sarcastic, I actually love it. <laughs> right. Let's pop this up. Oh, the new gameplay trailer. Um, for the new FS9, FS22, sorry. And the new map being French. Oh, oh, oh my god. Not trailer, sorry, gameplay for the games gone. Uh, I've got to say, I'm, I'm truly looking forward to that now. I really am. But, right, let's get to work. We can gas a bit more later on about it, I think. Okay, Field 4 will be the first one because it's the nearest. It's Kanoa. So, Corn. Let's do it. I think I'll drive it there.
now on my way back from the harvests. I'm going to say harvests, plural. Um, <laughs> top right hand corner, it's gone mad. And as you can see, how long it has taken me to do this. Now, I started doing this on game just after seven. It's getting close to midday now. So, you can just see how long it's taken to do all those fields. And we're in the top right hand corner with the money. That's from selling all the surplus grain and also at the same time selling all the bales which I could collect from the fields um, on the contracts. So, job done really. <sighs> Loving it. So, time to get cracking. Now that we've got that, there's a few things that I've bought as well, that Range Rover for example, a couple of other things at the store which I will bring up shortly, um, but yeah, I'm not going to bother with them at the moment, because yeah, that didn't go so well, I've got some shopping to do, now since I've got the money for one, I'm just going to claim the contract money first, so, done, job sorted. Now, I'm going to get this field, buy that, and I'm going to get this field, buy that, because that's all part of the master plan. Now, the master plan will come into its own in great de detail soon enough, and I'm now going to do what I was planning to do with this. So I think after I'll click my fingers. It has been done. The job is there. Now, just add the little dirt road quickly. Nice. I'm liking it because it's sort of like just gives me a little bit of a move through. Now, grass is still there. Yes, I've taken some of the grass up. We have added a, a chicken pen. And it's one that comes with, well, the mod that is chicken pen with manure. It holds 400. All I need to do is put some straw in there. And I will get some manure for it from as well. Uh, I think that's the egg box spawn point, I think. Food trough just here. There's a drinks trough as well, well here, but I'm going to put that in, but... I don't know if I'm going to need it or not, potentially. Now I'm going to head back to the store just to collect the few things that I've bought. So, I'll be right back. Right, so I'm back from the store. Collected the kit that I have bought now. <laughs> now I have used the old one of this uh, on quite a few occasions. Um, on different let's plays but this is the first time I'm, well I did get it for the Monarch Community Challenge but I haven't really had the chance to play that challenge for some time uh, I'm not saying I won't I will get back to it don't you worry it is my own challenge after all come on um, but it's just time XYZ plus I want to try and get things certain things done uh, before and focus on certain things before FS22 hits. I know I keep saying it. So I've decided that I wanted to get this for here. Now it's a nice little, or should I say, nice mower. And I kind of like the, I always have like the self propelled option. I've sold the old mower, a small one, um, to get this one. Um, well, not just to get it, but just, I don't need the front look more if I'm getting this one. Um, and yeah, it's just, why not, to be honest with you? Things I don't usually do, things I haven't done for a while, things I've not used properly. It's the whole name of the game, this series. Hello. Now, after seeing, um, as I sort of mentioned a little bit ago, after seeing the uh, <laughs> FS22 gameplay, um, especially that French map, I, had, I knew it was going to be either, either Italian or French. I just 
wasn't certain which one. Well, it's kind of obvious. Grapes are coming in, um, and the two places in the world which do wine, for example, the two main ones, or whatever you want to call them, um, is Italy and France. I mean, there's not exactly going to be a German one, is it? Now, which in a way is a bit. It's different compared because obviously Felsman was a Germanish or German esque or Austrian map around that sort of area, um, and they've gone with a different sort of way, which is good. I like it, and it just looks brilliant. That Mack truck. I mean, if you've not seen it, and I'm very sorry, it's a spoiler alert. Um, but if you haven't seen the um, FS22. Um, gameplay uh, footage uh, for GameCon then go on to Farmer Simulators um, I'll put a link in the description below for the video itself um, so go and have a little look at it on YouTube um, and you will be blown away it is you know I mean I have been a still a little bit on the fence. I'm, I'm not made no no compunction about it. I'm looking forward to seeing it and actually playing the game. But I have been a little bit on the fence, obviously, with certain things still. I gameplay aspects. I want to see more gameplay, and I have seen more gameplay. Obviously, with FarmCon, we saw some gameplay. Now this was the actual full beans. You know, we're seeing much more in action. Um, of what the new harvesters and new kit look like um, and the textures as well, the colouring um, there is some people that keep saying that FS22 is just a souped up version of FS19 I see where they're coming from but the thing is and with the greatest of respect to them there's no disrespect to them at all but it just feels like a completely new game which is what I've been dying for, what I'm hoping to see I think for this episode though, I think we're going to be coming up to the end because I don't think you're going to want to see, want to see me mo 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 because my plan on this is, well you probably guessed it at the moment so I legit make more money and then on the next lot is when I will cut more down probably keep some silage bales um, for part of the master plan or I might just sell them all off um, I'll probably just sell them all off anyway I hope you enjoyed the episode if you have liked it give us a like and a like put a comment in the below feel free um, I will respond to as many comments as I can and and if you haven't subscribed yet please do every subscription helps and I appreciate every one of you do take care